Kibler coming in here with 19 fights. Has a lot of experience. A lot of experience. He actually said that he's going to use that to his advantage and just walk him down the entire time. Toe to toe for a reason, he said. Cole Dawes comes in here with one fight. He trains with a lot of good guys. He has a good coach. Has, so he might not have a lot of fights on paper, but he's an experienced fighter in the gym. And he's seen a high level competition in the gym. Let's see if he can show that tonight. Introducing the principals first. Find out the blue corner, he's wearing the blue and white trunks. He weighed in a long and strong 156 pounds in his 21 bout career. He's fought the notables. Alantes Fox, Brandon Quirrell, Justin Gunther, and Austin DeAnda. Hailing from Newberry, South Carolina, but no stranger to VA, please welcome back Kelvin Grim Reaper Kimler. And the pony signed out the red corner. He's wearing a black and white trunks. He weighed in and a fit fighting and ready, 164 pounds. Yeah, yeah. One and one. That's the yeah. by Will and his toe-to-toe -to -toe promotion debut. Back tonight to make it. Deja Vu all over again. Here is the fighting pride of Alta Vista VA. The young boss Eric Mirazai with the final strike. Six rounds or less, middle -way. See if Kibler comes out and presses the pace and stays in his face. I believe that's Kibler's key to the victory. <clears throat> Dawes coming out with a jab. As he said he would, he nice. wants to control range. Showing a couple of feints, jab to the body early. Young Dawson lacks the experience that Kibler has, but it, he seems just as poised. Yeah, he's doing a good job of holding the center of the ring, throwing his jab. No, it's early on, but Kibler, like you said, he spoke with you earlier. Figured he was going to come forward a little bit more and try to press him, walk him down. Seems like he's content to stay on the outside right now. Falling into Doss's game plan of just using the distance and jabbing. I believe he needs to press the young man. Every time he goes to the high guard, Doss is doing a good job of jabbing to the body there. Loop and chop with the left hook there. Great right hook to the body by Young Dolls. Dawes looks very poised to be in there. They only had one professional fight. You wouldn't be able to tell it by watching from out here. He also has no amateur fights. He's very, he, he studies the boxing game, very respectful. He's a hungry young man. Kelvin landing a clean jab as we talked though. Yeah, that was a good shot down the middle. Seems like if he shows straight, straight punches, he'll have better luck. His, his big looping punches, he's, he's a mile off. 
I would like to see Kibler get on that front foot a little bit more and be assertive with his offense instead of looking for one big shot. <laughs> Great round for Young Dawes. I'm going to have to give that to him. Yep. Cam out, controlled the center well, jabbed to the body, kept the range pretty well. I've seen Dawes spar a couple of times in the gym. He's a up and coming hungry kid. Chris, have you been uh, have you been able to share any rounds with Young Dawes? Now nah, I've been there. I've, I've cornered against him. I brought one of my guys up, but I actually never got it rounds against him. But I was able to watch him spar. I think I was watching spar some rounds with you as well. He has a great jab, and he's finding a way to use that jab and utilize it in the correct way, keeping Kibler away. Yeah, I would like to, I would like to see Kibler get a little more aggressive and, and say try to maybe stalk him and walk him down a little bit and try to you know show his experience and. The age difference there, and try to like you know bully him if he could, but Doss looks pretty pretty slick right now. Doss is looking for a big right hand lining him up, <clears throat> assuming Kibler's going to fall on that front foot. We see it. Great left hook by Kibler, catching Doss in the middle of his combination. Kibler looks like he's uh, he's okay with staying with his back on the ropes here. Catching Doss in between with big shots. Not putting much power on it right now. Oh. But timing, timing a few shots in between young Doss's offense. Looks like he's content to play a little defense and look for a big left hook. Kibler falling in with a right hand. Good straight right hand. Catching him with a great right hand. As I said earlier, Doss is just <clears throat> allowing Kibler to fall on that front foot and catching him with the right hand. Beautiful jab. Dawes staying consistent with the jab. Stabbing his heart, stabbing, his, stabbing the head, jabbing whatever he can. Kibler seems like when he does throw, he's loading up. Not throwing a lot of punches, but when he does throw, he's looking for a big shot. Seems like he's starting to slow down a little bit here. I think the body work of Doss is starting to show a little bit. I know we're still early on in the second round here. Ooh. Both fighters looking for big knockout shots. I think when Dawes gets a little wild and throwing there, I think that's when Kibler's chance to do something here. Great I, right hand by Kibler. If I was Dawes' corner, I would tell him to stay technical with this guy. He's the better boxer here. Don't get greedy. Get back on that jab. Use yep. the range. He was beautiful in keeping the range. Whenever he gets in these big exchanges, he has a chance of getting caught. On the it's, outside, using his range, Young Dawes has 100% chance of winning if, if they're if they're jabbing and using their reach, why give Kibler the advantage on going in on the inside? Yep. Kibler's trying to bait him into a little bit of a war, swinging wide. Whenever it's a technical fight, Doss is beautiful jab, going to the body, keeping him center of the ring. Let's see your four, Kibler Lee. Kelvin Kibler would like to shout out to his, uh, his son, Royal. His birthday is tomorrow. Awesome stuff. Everybody give him a ha happy birthday. I know how that feels. When I fought on the Jake Paul card, it was actually the same day as my son's birthday. 
when I had the fight I offer, it was on the uh, Paul Woodley card in Florida. I was like, man, it's my son's birthday, but I knew that was a big opportunity to turn down, so I, I took the fight, but I, you know, I shouted out my son and stuff. And he said, as long as I didn't fight on his birthday again, I can do that one, so we did it. <laughs> He's here with me tonight, sitting right beside us watching some boxing. Getting alive and in person. Mm -hmm. I would like to see Dahl stay behind the jab here and stay technical here. He's winning the fight all day here. When he gets a little wild, he, he can get caught with a big hook as he just threw there and missed. Kelvin Kibler is swinging for the fences. He is looking for a knockout with every punch that he throws. <laughs> Dahl can keep the fight simple with just jabbing using the feints that he had established in the first round. Yeah, I like how he sets it. He, he feints a lot. For only having one pro fight, you don't see that a lot. And like you said, he never had no amateur boxing behind him, so a little faint slows things down. Seems like both guys' cardio is holding up pretty well here, going into the third. Kibler looking for bigger shots this round, allowing his hands to uh, allowing his hands to go a little bit more. We'll see how the fight goes. Maybe Kibler will start pressing as we get into the later rounds here. So I'm going to show his, his experience. Doss catching most of what Kibler throws. <clears throat> Even when it lands on his elbows, or on the back, it's, you still hear the impact of Kibler's punches. Yeah, but I like to see him just keep take, picking his shots here. Doesn't, don't get too greedy. Killers is waiting for the big overhand or a big left hook, and he's lunging forward. And Kibler does throw a few straight punches. He's had a success with that, but he keeps going back to the looping shots. When you start looping your punches and opening them up wider, they're, they take longer, they're slower. It actually takes a lot of power off of it, too, more often than not. Beautiful jab. Doss using his feet, using the range control. <laughs> you can kind of see a couple will load up a little bit and telegraph his power shots. The more he's getting a little bit tired here, he's really lunging here. But he's been in a lot of fights. He's been here before. He's durable. I don't believe he has been stopped uh, that much either. I believe he's only been stopped a handful of times in, in 19 professional bouts. And he has always been against superb competition. Yeah, you can tell he's coming here to win the fight. He's not here to take a dive. He might not have the skill that Dahl does, but he's here to win the fight. I think he knows his, his method of victory. He needs, a, he needs a big punch to hurt him. Yeah, Dahl stepping up for a six round fight on the second fight, too. You know, I was there for his pro debut. I didn't call the fight, but I was there ringside watching. He had a beautiful first round knockout. I believe it, uh, I believe he scored the knockout in two minutes and 59 seconds exactly. Wow. Right in the nick of time. Yeah, I feel on that my last MMA fight in July, I finished the first round with four minutes and 59 seconds with the second to go, and I tore my hamstring. So I knew if I didn't get to finish it, I probably wouldn't, I wouldn't know to continue because it was, you know, my leg was gone, so I had one second, luckily. The hell of a finish. Yeah, to be coming and going here, he, he looks fresh, he looks poised. I'm very impressed with him. He looked over to the commentator's booth and gave me a nod of approval as he told me uh, before the fight that he just wanted to establish the jab and allow Kibler to give him his offense by coming in, running in for big shots, just like he did. Kibler trying to bait him in. As they clinch, look straight back for the offense. 
Yeah, I would like to see Kilbert take a little chances here. You know, he's lost every round. You know, once you once you put rounds in against guys, you know if you're you know if the guy's a better boxer or not. You have to try to figure out a different way. Good body work there. Yes, Doss trying to break down the older fighter. I would like to see Kibler try to, you know, bait him into something, talk a little something here. He's a young fighter, try to get him to bite, as we'll talk later tonight when I box to Austin. After Agitate seven, the feelings. Yeah, as, as the rounds went, I knew, you know, that I was, he was a better boxer than me, so I had to do what I had to do to try to win the fight. Good, good left hook to the body. Ross is looking for a finish as Kibler tries to throw a big left hook. Good. All action from young Goss. And staying, staying boys Be as he looks for the finish. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful roll there. Go back to the body. I think he hurt him with that left hook to the body. Kibler with the poker face, as she shows you right there, the, all the fights he's been in. I'm sure he's been brought in a lot of places to get beat by up-and-coming guys, so this is nothing new to him. He's, he's, he's been here before. Goss realizing that Kibler's just looking for that big left hand. He times and rolls under it and throws a nice right hand, almost catching him flush. Beautiful slip and roll, left hook to the body, forward. I would say the few punches that Kibler have thrown straight down the pipe, he's had success landing it. He keeps going back to the loop and power shots. Doss is timing that left hook with a nice right hand. I believe Doss is looking for the finish. I would like to see him set it up with that jab a little bit more. Just as you call for the jab, he doubles up on it. Kibler acknowledges it, lets him know. Doss getting caught in the middle of this combination, just a little bit offsetting him and having to restart. I'm gonna have to give that round to Young Doss again. We're heading we into the fifth round. This is all uncharted territory for Young Doss. As you said, his prayer to be, he got the first round finished there at the end. <clears throat> Kibler's been here a time or two. Like you say, he's a durable fighter, hasn't been stopped very often. He looks very poised in the corner when he's talking to his corner. Seems like his cardio is hanging up. I would like to see him throw a little bit straighter punches, and when he does throw the straight two, he's hit him a few times, but he keeps going back to the looping punches. I agree. So now. His corner screaming to walk Young Doss down. If they feel as if he's a little tired. And Doss being up four rounds of nothing here. I'd like to see him go ahead. As he's trying to show, but earlier, as I said earlier, maybe try to get him out of his game. You know, he's only the second pro fight. Try to get in his head a little bit here and catch him with something. Test the nerves of the young man. Yep, I like to see Dahl stay technical, stay behind his jab. He's been doing beautiful with that. Don't get caught up in all that. He's staying relaxed, catching Kelvin with nice short shots. I love how he doubled up the left hand there. One left hook to the body, he brought it back upstairs. I like how he's controlling the range here where he's not getting over jealous here. He knows Kibler's looking for the big left hook here every time he backs him up. Cutting the ring off. Beautiful work by Young Doss. Good jab.
Bell staying consistent with the jab, staying consistent with his offense, keeping Kelvin on the ropes. Catching him with a big right hand. Pulling his glove down. Great body work. One thing that Kibler's showing here, you, you can't always judge a guy by his record. He might not be the top boxer, but he's durable. He's been here a time or two. He's not going anywhere easily. He has the experience and he has the heart. You don't have to take him out. He's not looking for a way out of this fight. He's looking for a way to win this fight. More often than not, we struggle with that sometimes. A fighter, if they feel as if they're outclassed, they may look for a way out almost immediately. But Kibler showing his heart, showing durability, and catching oh, and Doss with a beautiful left hook. Yeah, that was a big shot. I'd like to see him get back behind the jab here and stay technical. About to close out round five here. One round to go. Five nothing here. I would I was stressing the corner here to tell Dawes he's doing great. Don't get over jealous here. The only thing they can beat you here is a big punch. You're up five rounds. I wouldn't say let off the gas pedal, but I would say technical and not not don't get it caught up in exchanging with this man. That's stay always. sharp, stay poised. It's ten ounce gloves, Chris. Yep. You can get hit with anything and get hurt. <clears throat> Why take the risk when he has been boxing beautifully? Especially too, because in my experience, and you can you can speak for it too, when you spar a lot of technical guys that throw straight punches a lot, when you start fighting these guys that throw these looping punches, they come from weird angles. What you don't see coming is what hurts you, hits you in the, in the back of the head to the ear. Those shots will hurt you when you're used to seeing straight shots from higher level guys. So people are like, I'd rather fight a higher level guy than guys throwing looping punches because it's just not something you see all the time in the training room. I completely agree, Chris. The sixth and final round. Both guys, Cardio seems to hold up well. We know Kilmer's going to empty it out here. He's going to be throwing the big left hook and the overhand right. Stay behind the jab here and control the center. As he comes forward, throwing the big leaping hook. Dawes staying relaxed, <clears throat> catching him with a nice counter left hook. Counter jab also. You know, they say a right hand can take you around the block, but a good lead hand can take you around the world. And Young Dawes has a beautiful lead hand, switching up from left hooks to jabs, changing up the way he throws his jab. Great versatility from the young man. Great left hook. Kibler, that is. As we would said earlier, Kibler hasn't been stopped many, very often, and he's very durable. I would like to see Dawes here just stay behind the jab. Don't take any risk here. It's always nice to get to finish, but he's a very durable veteran. He's going to get six rounds here probably, gain a lot of experience. See, as you see right there, he caught that, but it's, just, it's very risky getting in the phone booth here exchanging with this guy in the sixth round. I would stay on the outside and, and beat him up with the jab. I agree. He's a young man with no amateur experience and one fight. I Get the rounds and get the experience. Move around in the ring. Feel the crowd. Catch the punches like he is. Use that defense. Beautiful right there. I would love to see him stick right here. He's winning the fight all day right here. When he gets inside, he gets hit a few times. But all it takes is one loop and Both punch. Both looking for huge right uppercuts. See it right there. Beautiful job of seeing the right hand. You're right, Chris. Kibler has caught uh, Young Dolph more in this round than he has in any other round. Just by Coleman having the reckless aggression and looking for the finish in the very last round. Yeah, and that's from, you know, being young. He's the, he's the local guy. He's got a lot, of, a lot of fans here. You want to put on for your fans. But at the end of the day, dubs are what, you know, you're looking for. To, you want to win and move on to the next and get better. I love when he stays behind that jab, he's been money all night. Yes. Way to angle out. Young Dolph getting back to the center ring, staying off the ropes, not allowing his opponent to work. Oh, 
Good feint. Young Dolph using his feet. Great attribute. Ten seconds left in the fight. I believe Young Dolph is a little fatigued looking back at his corner. Great fight. Great fight. A lot of experience gained there with Dolph. Yes, going against a 19 fight veteran, going to six rounds. He got called a couple shots there, nothing too major. He'll take this and learn from it and come back even better. Got a lot of respect for Kebler here. He come in here to win this fight. He didn't yes, come he here. Did. He didn't come in here to take a dive. He was coming until the very last bell. I'm not sure that the scorecards is going to be much of a toss up, Chris, but you never know sometimes. Yeah, I, I think six nothing from what I see, but. Shout out to Scott Sigmund for putting on these events. And my, myself as a promoter, I've promoted two boxing fights myself and I've rock, I own Rocket Combat Sports. I've done 14 MMA shows. It's not easy wearing the hat and making sure everything comes together. And Scott keeps doing it. So a lot of respect for him behind the scenes and giving these guys a platform to keep on moving to the next level. Again, a round and round of applause for our Ring Warriors, too. Our official scoring is as follows. Judge James Ansbro scored it 59 to 55, as did Dean Crane, 59-55. Judge Jack Leahy scored it 58 to 56, all to the winner. By unanimous decision, the young boss. I'm not sure how a referee would be able to justify giving two rounds to Kibler, let alone one. Like I said, Chris, you never know, though. You never know. Yeah, not what I've seen. I had it six to nothing. I think it was pretty clear cut. First time was by knockout, and of course you wanted to knock out tonight, but he wasn't cooperative. But I tell you what impressed me. You took some shots and you came back. So that tells me you can take some yes, shots sir. and you adjust it to your opponent. So it tells me a lot from a young man that you got an uh, uh, upward trajectory that we uh, really want to see going forward. Yeah, man, before I came in, I was like, if they want to get me down, it's got to be a bullet, you know what I mean? That's the type of mentality I have. You know, I, I haven't seen anybody in the second bout by the sixth rounder. This is a sixth rounder for you tonight, which tells me promoter Scott Kujo Sigmund has a lot of faith in you going forward. Yeah, I like the long, the long rounds, man. It, it gives you more of a chance to have like a, a war, a battle of attrition. Um, instead of the quick four rounders, you don't get to really think. You pass really quick, and anything can happen. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't, 
said, thank you. And of course, I gotta thank my mom. Oh! <laughs> Let's hear it from the young boss, Goldman Dawn. Also, I'm going to shout out to my little brother. It's his fifth birthday today. Uh, Kimberly, Kim, Kimberly, you have to have a short birthday in my fight. I just want to let you know I love you, buddy. And all these fights are for you. And I'm sorry I had to miss your birthday, man. Happy birthday, Kendall. Let's hear it from the young boss, Goldman Dawn.